<laughs> yeah, look at that. It's just like, it's hardly moving. So this is the first in a brand new series where we're going to be kind of non-scientifically testing, but testing uh, cases for airflow, temperature. You know, there's some cases out there that have got a pretty bad reputation, this being one of them, the NZXT H510. But where did this reputation come from? Nobody really knows. So what we want to do is we want to pass through a bunch of smoke through the case to actually see what the airflow looks like. Got the fans in the same configuration as they were when they came out the box. We'll move the fans around, see what that changes. So basically what we've got here in our very, very professional looking fog box, you can see we've got a fog machine that just plugs directly into the box via this very small hole. So what happens is we fill the case box, this case box. <coughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this box full of smoke. Uh, the smoke will be pulled through into the case and we should be able to have a, a visual representation of actually what the airflow is doing. So what we've got in this case, out of the box it comes with two fans. Um, at the front there is a big gap. Uh, this is where the intake airflow comes from but there's no fans there. You can add fans if you want to. But inside the case you get a fan at the back exhaust and a fan at the top exhaust. Which means from every available hole inside the case there should be air coming in we're also going to be tracking the temperature inside the case so the air temperature inside the case at the front and at the back the front should be cooler than the back where all of the components are um, we've got an amd ryzen 5 1600 uh, cpu with a stock cooler on it and we've got the amd rx 570 gpu so as you can see we have the awesome kind of eyeball looking graphic so it's probably worth noting as the first uh, sort of temperature test, I have released the box from the intake just so that the uh, case is able to suck in isn't just from inside the box. Uh, that's a fairer test. And the results out of the box, to be fair, uh, not great. It is worth saying that, you know, GPU and CPU are both running at 100%. Very rarely in a game are you going to be running your CPU at 100% and your GPU at 100%. <laughs> So the CPU is at about 79 degrees, top end of okay. I mean, ideally CPU, you probably want it to be uh, below 60 degrees, that'd be perfect. 60 to 80 is, is kind of okay. 80 to sort of 90 is uh, probably not okay. And anything above 90 is probably quite worrying. For your GPU, we're at like somewhere between sort of high 80s, but it seems to be settling more so around 88 and 89. GPU, absolute perfect, would be below 65 degrees, then 65 to 80 is okay. 80 to sort of 90, 95 is uh, not great, and then anything above 95 is like damn, very, very dangerous territory. So this really is kind of not in a good place. Obviously, that affect this, that those temperatures are very general. It is a kind of cheaper x570 cards it's an older cards but still these temperatures are probably a little bit worrying for me just with the kind of airflow out the box so temperature inside the case so as you can see room temperature is about 22 ish it's going to feed it through so trying to just get it more towards the front of the case 36.8 so that's the front of the case where the air should be kind of coming in sort of top end of 36 getting towards 37 degrees if I move this now over to kind of above where the components are, which should be the hottest part of the case, 41.6. So we're a good 20 degrees hotter than actual room temperature. So I'm gonna seal it up now, and we're gonna send some uh, fog in there and kind of see what the, the movement of the air is saying. So what's happening is these exhaust fans are pulling air into the system via the front and via uh, this area down here, just underneath the GPU. And you can see that air is coming in and it's quite fast around here, but it's really slow there, really slow. Have you seen that? So what's happening is the air is going in and it's getting pulled inwards uh, towards the CPU via the CPU cooler and you, you can see can you see the smoke getting sucked into the CPU cooler so that's that and then the the fans underneath the GPU are sucking air up through the GPU and then pushing hot air upwards and outwards in all directions yeah you can definitely see the exhaust is pushing air 
out as well. There's a lot of turbulence around this area, but it's because there's two exhaust fans and there's obviously the fan sucking air towards the CPU and then all the heat coming off of the GPU as well. But th this, I would really want that to be a faster airflow. <laughs> Look at that. It's just like, it's hardly moving. So I actually think a lot of that turbulence around here is just, it's just caused by the GPU uh, trying to exhaust as much hot air as possible. So the, I mean, for me, the ideal flow of air would be the air comes in, travels kind of upwards and out. So it's fairly steady stream of air doing this. But what we've got is, is quite different. You can, you can see that the air here is coming in and then almost immediately going upwards and then getting sucked back. So it's kind of doing this. And then this is just kind of like hanging around a little bit before it starts to get pulled in by the GPU. The GPU seems to be pulling most air from the back of the case. So we've been running, running the test now for like 30 minutes. And you can see, you know, by, by attaching the box, we've not really increased the temperatures at all, to be honest. It's very hot in there. Let's put it that way. Not great. What I'm going to do now, is stop all of this, uh, gonna move one of the fans, probably the top fan I'll take off, and I'll put over at the bottom on this side to create a neutral air pressure and just see what the difference is. Yeah, so let's do that. So what we've done is we've taken the exhaust fan off the top and I've put it in at the bottom front of the case as an intake. Now we've got one intake, one exhaust, neutral pressure. Uh, we've just started the torture test, so we'll give this about 15, minutes to get to a, a fairly settled temperature and then we'll see what the results are. So as you can see actually like moving one of the exhaust fans into an intake position hasn't had a drastic effect. I mean th this was kind of between 87 and 89 now it's kind of between 84 and 89 we have actually seen a 90 on there as well um, the CPU is basically at a steady 79 um, so let's do the actual temperature inside the case we're still at 22 degrees inside the room front of the case let's see if there's a temperature change there 37.5 at the front of the case with a neutral air pressure let's do the back end of the case Let's call it 37.6. So actually we've got a little, with how neutral air pressure, we've got a little bit more of an even temperature inside the case. Seems pretty interesting to me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some fog in this bad boy and actually see how turbulent the air is in there. Look at the top there, look at the top. You see how the air's like kind of like popping out and back in again. So there's, there's actually like some suction. There was a fan there before, but there's no fan there now but actually the exhaust fan is actually sucking some air through that as well. So previously we had this sort of like area of air that wasn't really moving too quickly down here. Uh, with, the, with putting the fan here though, you can see that this air is now servicing the GPU a little bit better. Still very, very turbulent up here. You can still see there's air getting sucked in from the back, but this area here where there's no fan and not a lot of uh, you know, suction from a top exhaust, the air there is fairly static. I think the problem is that the GPU is pushing air like this way, like back towards the intake, but you're just getting this kind of area here that's not really doing much. It is really cool the way you can see this, you know, the cold air coming from the front and the back to the two fans and the GPU there. Not a massive difference to be fair. We've affected the temperature inside of the case, not necessarily affected the temperature of the components, but that's probably just because they are running at 100%. What I wanna do now is create a positive air pressure. So I'm going to add another fan, which is the same size, but it is a fractal design fan because uh, I don't have another NZXT one. Um, but it's the same size and configuration, so it shouldn't be too different to what's already in there. So we'll add this, create a positive air pressure, to kind of see what that does to this case. So uh, this is the, the positive air pressure uh, test. So what I've done is I've put another fan in the top of the case. So now I've got two fans at the front drawing air in and one fan at the back exhausting it out. This is a fairly standard sort of fan configuration for positive airflow. Just started running the test, we're only like a minute in. You can see the CPU and GPU are both running at 100%. So we'll give it five minutes, five, 10 minutes till we get to some steady temperatures. And then we will take a look at the airflow inside. So we've been running this for about 10 minutes now. And as you can see, the temperatures you know within a couple of degrees of the other fan configurations but you know we are stress testing these torture testing them at 100 percent so we probably wouldn't see masses of variation with this particular case so what we'll do is we'll test the actual temperature inside the case and see if there's a big difference there 
So we've still got a room temperature of about 22. I would have thought that this would be a lower temperature based on the fact there's two fans in the front now. So front of the case, we have actually seen a bit of a drop in temperature there. High 36s, low 37s. I think 36.8 probably seems about right. And the back of the case, 38.4. So basically the GPU and CPU temperatures haven't changed all that much. They're all around top end of the 80s for the GPU, top end of the 70s, bottom end of the 80s for CPU. Room temperature has always been around 22. Where the biggest changes have been is just like the actual temperature inside the case. So what we'll do now is we'll throw some smoke through this thing and see kind of what's going on with the air turbulence. So kind of what we're seeing here is a lot of turbulence in this area and you can see the airflow is definitely like coming in, dropping and going into the uh, GPU, which is great. But here, there's a lot more turbulence here. It's a lot less static than it was because the GPU is obviously exhausting out here, but we're also getting like cold air coming in. So it's just creating an area of turbulence there. It's very, very much a similar story here as well, as we saw with the last configuration. You've almost got this like cold air coming in that's just instantly getting pushed back by the uh, GPU. That is kind of what it looks like to me. Similar story on the top as well. You've got some air getting pushed out of this grill, even though there's not a fan there. And then some of it actually getting drawn back in, probably by the CPU fan and the exhaust fan on the case. You can see this fan is clearly feeding the GPU. This fan is clearly exhausting. The CPU is pulling in from the top and pulling in kind of from over here a little bit. But there's just this like pocket of air here that's just not doing much for me. It's not doing anything. So at this point, it's probably kind of hard to draw any conclusions because we've only tested one case. This is only episode one. But first impressions, my opinion, I don't think the NZXT H510 is very good on airflow. Uh, we did see some kind of pockets of, of air that weren't really doing kind of what I wanted to do, which is be moving freely. And, you know, the temperatures inside the case, we did move the fans around a little bit. But really, kind of what we saw was a neutral airflow was slightly better for this case. So if you do have this case, probably something a little bit more neutral seemed to work slightly better in terms of temperatures inside the case. So you tell us what case you want us to test next. Uh, this has been the NZXD H510. Let us know what case you've got at home. If we've got it, we'll test it. If we don't have it, we'll try and get it in. Next week, we'll have the same episode again, episode two of this series. Uh, so let us know before then. Get in the comments, give me a thumbs up, get on a notification so you never miss an episode of this. And obviously subscribe to the channel. I mean, we're awesome. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.